What's up YouTube? I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, compare games, fun tabletop TV, video games and today we are doing Ododic combo tutorials based on my new Ododic deck that got first place at the Card Prowler tournament. That's right, you heard we got first place, we beat decks like Drytrons, Tri Brigades and even Invoke Shadal as well and honestly some of you might be thinking like wait how did we beat Winda? Well, there is a lot of outs to specific beat sticks like Winda or even Dragoon. Like to handle Winda is quite easy. You could just summon the Froggos, attack into it, or even tribute for a with a light or dark. And for Dragoon, we have our own beat stick, Overlord. Now, if Dragoon negated an effect in the graveyard, it doesn't gain the 1000 boost. But if it did, there's definitely two ways of gaining with Dragoon either attacking over it because Overlord is 3100 attack or simply just using the effect and sending it to the graveyard. So the deck definitely has outs to very troublesome cards. But one thing that I want to point out is that I didn't really necessarily do any changes to the deck. So it's very similar to our last deck profile that we did. The only change I did was the Gizmek Orochi. I took it out for a second Light Serpent and that actually did change the consistency and it opened up a lot more plays to do. Now I did want to delay the combo tutorials, especially for when the Reptilians come out because when the Reptilians come out, there is going to be a lot of one card or even two card combos that you would need to know. Well, in this deck, there's not really any one card or two card combos. Majority of the time, there's a lot of three card combos, but it's not specific three cards. There's just a lot of interaction you need to do to get to a specific point and once you are at that specific point that is open to a lot of combos that you could do and the deck is very good to dealing with multiple interruptions as well the deck is very similar to i would say prank kids because majority of the time prank kids do not end on a big board the reason why prank kids is so good is for the recycling having multiple follow-up plays and just simply out resourcing your opponent that is what this deck does it doesn't create big boards it simply does minor hand loops or potentially full hand loops as well but everything is remaining in the graveyard and in this deck your graveyard is your hand so you always have follow-up plays no matter what and it's very hard for opponents to actually have a lot of interruptions to the point of actually stopping you so with that being said let's get to the combo tutorials here is our opening hand so we are showing you a combo of only three cards and it's not even that good of cards it's a new new naya and queen now the reason why we're showing you this is that this is the key point that you have to get to and depending what you have it's very easy to do this combo and then extend it to more combos depending on the other two cards or what you drew into so afterwards we're going to show you what kind of combos you could do with actual really good hands so starting with Naya, we're going to use Naya to send the light. Then we're going to activate Nunu to send the Zora. We could activate the Nunu to special, then activate Zora to send Queen to add Zora. Normal summon the Zora now. XYZ, Zora Nunu for King of the Pharaoh Imp. We're going to detach the Zora to add a danger. Next, we're going to tribute King Imp for the light. Activate light now to special the Naya. So remember we have one card in hand. Activate Naya to add the water lily. So right away we have already four reptiles. So we're going to activate the water lily to send the king. But we're going to actually special summon the Zoa. Next we could activate our danger which is going to discard it and then special it. Next we're going to activate queen. So Queen is going to tribute these two. And remember not to save the Zora for last when you're tributing it. Because that is the effect that you want to use. And we're only supposed to summon the Queen. Now the reason why you're supposed to summon the Queen first. Is quite simple. If your opponent has any hand traps as well to maybe interrupt now. You want Queen to be face up on the field because then you can actually benefit from it and special summon a Ododic from the graveyard. So this is why you want the Queen to be out first. Next, we're going to use the King. 
So for cost, we're going to tribute the Zora and Light for King, and we're going to activate the Zora. So we're going to add the Overlord, and then discard the Overlord. Your opponent's going to draw a card, then discard. Now, if your opponent discards a monster, the chain links is simple. You want Queen to be chain link one and King to be chain link two. Now, the reason why you want that chain link is because if they drew into maybe a Ghost Ogre, you definitely want the special summon to resolve. And then for the discarding, there's not many cards that could prevent it, except for maybe oh, Gamma or Effect Veiler or Imperm, but those were most likely affect any of them. So it doesn't really matter, but definitely less options for Queen if it's chain link one. So now we're going to special summon the Overlord. And right away, as you can see, we have already discarded a card from our opponent's hand. So he has four cards now. We already have a few interruptions depending on what the plane and we could benefit off it. We definitely have another, which is a nuke. So that is definitely a big deal breaker. But the thing is, is that we still have a few plays for follow up turns, especially, and we could definitely, and you have a few options. You can make number 60 with the Zor and the Naya if you want to keep the Naya in the graveyard but at the same time it's very easy to add it back to hand and then get another water lily so we still have a lot of follow-up plays for next turn as well so this is actually a very good combo it's very simple it's not overboard and it does a lot it's actually a lot for your opponent to deal with especially that they're not weak monsters either Especially King, 28 defense, 31 attack. Now, I do leave these in defense, even though Queen has 27 attack, because there is cards like Lightning Storm that could definitely just nuke the board. But that's why I definitely want to leave these in defense. Usually, I would put this in defense as well, but if they want to waste a Lightning Storm just for this, and then I could benefit off these, that's great for me as well. Now, let's show you a combo with an actual good hand going to be showing you our opening hand and how we beat Drytrons. So as you can clearly see, we did open the nuts, but it just gets even better. So first thing that we did was Snake Rain. So we discarded Naya for cost. They responded with a Ash. So we definitely chained the Gamma to Special Summon a Driver. And let me tell you, now he only has four cards in hand, so it's very easy to hand loop him. And especially that he just used his only hand trap. So we definitely benefit from it. So now we resolve the snake ring. So we're going to send the four, which was the king, the Nunu, the light, and the Zora. So with our hand, what we have, we have to get more light monsters. So the first thing I did was to make Omega because it's quite good especially if you make Omega right away you can actually respawn for potential hand traps like Nibiru so since we have lights now that we could just use for free we're gonna make black link black for striker effect of black add white now we're going to use curse effect which is going to tribute for cost and he's going to special some his ass blossom in defense then we're going to use the effect to special the Naya. Naya is going to search the Water Lily. Now we're going to activate New News Effect to special it. And we're going to XYZ for King. Use King to add Light Serpent. So at this point, Point, we're pretty much all set and we could do a lot more combos so what I'm going to be doing right now is using Zora's effect and don't forget we're doing all this and we still didn't even normal summon so we're going to send light serpent as cost to add the Zora special light serpent now we're going to link for lambda there we go so now we're having a lot more plays so at this point, since we have four reptiles right now, we're going to activate Water Lily right away because when we use the Chaos Levineer and the White, we won't be having any reptiles. So we're going to send the Queen and we're going to actually be special summoning the Nunu back. You see why exactly we're special summoning the Nunu and not King or Queen. 
So first, Chaos Lavinier. Let's just banish three dorks. Shuffle a card from our opponent's hand to the deck. So now he's down to three cards in hand. Let's make it even less now. So we're going to actually banish the Naya for the White Dragon. Now we're going to link them for Herodic Seal. And now we're going to normal summon our Zora. So first we're going to use Queen's Effect to tribute to. So we're going to tribute the Nunu and the Light to special summon the Queen. Next, we're going to use the King. So we're going to tribute the Zora and Herotic Seal for the King. And the Chainlinks are going to be Zora Chainlink 1 and Herotic Seal Chainlink 2. So Herotic Seal is going to special summon Darkest Diabolus. And the Zora is going to add Overlord and send it. And now our opponent has to Discard another card, and it was a monster, so special summon the Overlord. So right away, he's down to only two cards in hand. So what we're going to do now is use Darkest Diabolus. So he has to choose a card to put at the top or the bottom from his hand. So now, he's down to one card. We're going to activate Omega. And to banish that card and activate Lambda. So Lambda at the end phase is going to get us a Gamma. So now he has no cards in hand, only Ash Blossom on the field. And since we are going against Drytron, the best play to do is actually overlay for Sky Prison. Now, I understand that on the end phase, because on the main phase, we're going to use the effect, so neither player can special summon from the graveyard, so his dry charms are completely locked, okay? He draws only one card, he cannot do anything with it. He cannot special summon from the graveyard, so he cannot do any plays. Now, I understand for Lambda's effect, on the end phase, we get our Gamma, but it does intervene with Sky Prison because of drivers in the graveyard, and we cannot special summon from the graveyard. But that is okay, because this is going to completely cripple them. So they're not going to be able to play. What's come to worst? We can nuke everything and we have everything still in the grave so we could just restart our play as well. But on top of it, we still have the Gamma. So in case of any situation, what's comes to worst? Even on the next turn, we still have a lot of plays to do. And that's it for our Ododic combo tutorials. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you guys want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.